Hello everyone, my name is Nukul. I work as a developer advocate at JetBrains. And uh, the topic for today is Nil Today, Outage Tomorrow, which is all about Nil the reference. Okay, let me start with a story. It is like quite common in our development. So it was like chill Friday evening, deployment was smooth, CI CD was humming along, and Alex, our backend engineer, leaned back on his chair, coffee in his hand, and a big smile on his face. Totally convinced the sprint was done. He just wrapped up a new Go microservice. It was fast, it was clean. Even QA gave the green light, but except faith. Oh, this is quite familiar. At night 2 a.m., PagerDuty stream, Slack exploded, and finally he got a distress call from his manager. What went wrong? So Alex immediately looked into the logs and he found something which he never expected. A panic message, invalid memory address, or nil pointer D reference. I bet every Go developer has must run into this issue at least once. Or let's be real, probably a ton of times. So Alex found something in the code which he find like, okay, this is something odd. As you can see, this function is trying to call an external function create user. Let's check that out. Oh, seems that the valid name was returning nil, and that's the reason we got that exception. But what about like if we try to handle it better? What if we could like try to do the error handling? Let's look at that. Well, this code looks definitely better than the previous one, but still, there is some problem. As you can see, the first condition passes, but in the second condition, we can definitely see where is the problem. So I don't have any choice. I go ahead and fix it. So what's the moral of the story? In Go, the silence of nil is deceptive. It doesn't scream, it waits. <laughs> so what if we could do, like if we try to handle this kind of problem before our code is deployed in production? if you can figure this out way early. So that's where Goland Interprocedural Analysis comes in, which was recently introduced in 2025.2 release. So there are two types of analysis, global and local. Local analysis, which you can see on your left, it works on individual function and does not consider if one function calls another. While, on the other hand, global analysis tracks data and control flow actions across function boundaries. And that's what we are dealing with. Yeah, I, I really don't have a demo, to be frank. Before I was a developer advocate, I used to be a developer. And I really learned one thing very badly, never show live demos. <laughs> so today we are going to stick with the videos, and no way. I'm going to risk my career in front of the live audience. Here we go. Just double tap shift and you can enable the analysis which is already enabled. As you can see, it pinpointed the nil reference. You get the window where you can stack trace and try to backtrack where exactly it got originated. So once you fix the error, you'll observe the inspection won't report. Yeah. This is similar kind of example, but yeah, right now I'm calling three different functions. So it's like three levels deep and quite effectively can track. We don't just track return values, we can also uh, figure out the function um, if you're trying to pass nil as a parameter or not as a nil. So definitely that's something like handy if by mistakenly, by accidentally if you're trying to uh, pass nil to a function, we can definitely catch that. We made this information quite easy to access. That's where we have put the nilability information in the quick documentation. So you can definitely check that out. By this point, 
I think most of you have this question, okay, this is something like, looks like similar to Nilaway. While Nilaway is a very great tool, our solution is different. Nilaway is good for using with CI, CD or with terminal, but Golan DFA is mostly used with Inside the Goland, you can try to find the interprocedural analysis, so you don't need to go anywhere. Okay, now you might be having which one should I use? I would say definitely go for both because you can try to reduce more amount of errors in production. Yeah. We are excited to make this feature even better in future updates. Have a look out, and as always, we would love to hear what you think. Thank you. Thank you.